Everyone I've seen talk about Ben Shapiro doesn't mention this, but it should be the number one thing mentioned about him. Ben's channel was founded with five million dollars from an oil company billionaire. When I point this out, his fans get mad at me and they're like, it's not true, it's not true. This isn't some conspiracy. On his own website, he admits this. It just should be mentioned. His publishing company is still partly owned by that oil billionaire. That's Ben's channel, that's Jordan Peterson's channel, that was Candace Owens channel, Matt Walsh's show, Michael Knowles's show. That's a lot of oil money and a lot of climate denial. To copy them, coincidence? They should come with a warning label. Ben said, there, There's a, a fellow whose name escapes me right now who just won the Nobel Prize in economics who legitimately made his entire career out of studying the economics of climate change. That's a real guy, he won the Nobel Prize, his name's William Nordhaus. When does he think that intervention economically is called for? He says that until he believes that over the next century there's 3.5 degrees centigrade of climate change, that intervention actually would be counterproductive. It would cost more to intervene than it would to actually allow the damage to take place and just cope with it. I, I don't see any reason why I think that I would know better than he does. Until 3.5 degrees of global warming, doing anything is more expensive than doing nothing. You probably heard Nobel Prize winning economist and went, oh fuck. Understandable, but he's wrong. There's another Nobel Prize winning economist that disagrees. Joseph Stiglitz won a Nobel Prize in economics. He says it's wildly wrong. Oh my gosh, what's the truth, damn it? You might wonder, like Ben doesn't, what's the truth? There's plenty of studies that disagree. Here's four. A more recent study said it is six times more expensive to do nothing than something. Ben's economist wrote an extremely complicated model that I would have no hope of judging. But giant models like this are based off assumptions. They can be good or they can be a house of cards. You and I can judge those assumptions. A professor of economics, Steve Keen, judged those assumptions and he judged them to be disgusting. One of those assumptions is that 90% of GDP will be unaffected by climate change because it's indoors. I'm not fucking joking. One of the industries he said will be unaffected is real estate. Are you insane? I'm sure an insurance company will have no reaction to floodplain property becoming Atlantis property. That's millions of homes. That's not included in Ben's economist model. There are all these scientists concerned about a food chain collapse. An industry he admits is affected by climate change is agriculture. But it's not a problem because he says agriculture only makes up 3% of the economy, 3% of GDP. Do I have to explain that every other industry needs food? If 3% of the GDP evaporates, the rest of it dies. It's like he's a doctor going, I don't understand why your son died. I left 97% of his body intact. You removed his lungs. Food chain collapse will affect restaurants, service industry, hospitality, law, because the lawyers will be dead. And Ben is trying to tell you that this doctor, Nordhaus, should be the guardian of Earth. I'm gonna sound disrespectful, but Nordhaus has engaged in the most important question of the century. Nations will crumble if they get the answer wrong. Billions of dollars are staked on these answers. And this guy's model is based off the most embarrassing Jenga Tower assumption. He said to everyone, that the secret to our salvation is stand behind a window. Bro, damn, it's unacceptable. But Ben accepted it because it's the answer he wants. You might wonder, how is this possible? How can economists mess up this badly that they gave a Nobel Prize to this piece of shit work? Economists have been messing up so badly for so long that in 1991, there was an investigation into economic education. They asked, are we making idiots? And they concluded, I'm afraid so. They sent this to the queen. They were producing idiots, skilled in technique, but innocent in how the real world works. 
Ben's boy is so wrong. It's why you get Nobel laureates like Joseph Stiglitz saying it's wildly wrong. Professor of economics, Steve Keen, calling it nonsense and calling Nordhaus an idiot. And also saying that this work is so poor, it is an indictment on the Nobel committee. That's Ben's guy. And then I just, I see this clip where Ben says, I, I don't see any reason why I think that I would know better than he does. His humility is only towards the one specific economist that agrees with him and not to any of the other Nobel Prize winning economists that disagree with Ben. All the climate scientists that disagree with Ben, except the ones paid by oil companies to say dumb shit. And remember, Ben's paid by an oil- I'm sorry, I'm yelling. Ben was born with oil company money. Just, next time you hear some scary shit from Ben, the moment you look into it, it turns against Ben. Frank Herbert, the guy that made Dune, he said about ecology, there are so many delicate systems that are so vast and inane, but if you fuck up a little thing in them, the whole thing collapses. He said, the highest function of ecology is the study of consequences. Ben doesn't care about consequences. Ben's already been debunked on all the science parts by a guy named Roche. And Roche stopped making his video. Roche, welcome in. We need your skills. When the world needed him most. Gotta come back, man. Rush! Come back! Your videos are great. Also, please give me money. I don't have oil company money. Like Ben, who will be my first Patreon donor. That's right. No one's given me money yet. Help me, please. I have no funds. Donate to my Patreon. I want to do this full time. I think I can do it really well.